What's up, people? Welcome back to another Lost Recollection Guide. This time I'm gonna go over three different types of weaknesses the enemy has in this game. So yeah, it's a really useful system. I think they brought it back a little bit late in AL because that was like DLC 2, like final, like an update or somewhat before that. But it's basically like you use the right type of weapons, you'll hit a lot more because some other type of weapons will do a little bit less something like that so knowing which type does which you know which kind of damage would be really really good so I'll, i'm just gonna show you guys what the three different symbols look like and what they are and before i start that i'm gonna go over some of the weapons what they are mainly for for example like uh 1h there will be a slash skill slash <laughs> slash skill slash <laughs> slash um pierce type so just like this um if you open if i go to the skill tree and let me go over some of the soul skills actually it'd be better to show it here for example though one h sword is mainly slash type but there are some sword skills that are actually use pierce type so it's a little bit different and um yeah some sword skill mainly just focus on that type and then they will just switch it for some some other source go uses a different element so yeah that's pretty much it but mainly just use the weapon that's you know against whatever the enemies are weakness but it doesn't mean you can't use you know you know one h against crap if they're weak uh like those crap enemies if they're weak at you know crush type weapons it doesn't mean you can't use that but it just like it will do a lot more damage ultimately it is like you can still kill it regardless but if you enjoy you know doing different type of weapons and stuff test it out and you know it's really fun uh, using the right using using the right weapons against the right weaknesses actually boosts a lot of damage in this game so i'm just gonna go over what the uh symbols looks like how to tell which one is which and just reminder is that divine beasts and like rates they don't tell you they might not even have a weaknesses or at least they don't show up at all so like boss type enemies they they most likely not gonna have a weaknesses so with that being said i'm gonna go find the enemy look like and then tell you guys what they are and how to differentiate them so see you guys in a bit okay so you can see a, a circle on top of that weak simple um this is a, a crush type enemy they're weak at crush type if you hit it with the like the weapons that i mentioned yeah it will hit a little a lot more than sword so that's crush type like these enemies well i don't really need to like show all type you just need to look at the simple and know what they are and that's about it so let's move on to the next type okay so now the next type is the uh this is the appears simple and if you see this simple, that means they're weak at the uh, pierce. And all you gotta do is just use a pierce type weapon and you'll be good to go. Let's move on to the final type. Alright, last but not least is the slash type. This is the slash, what it looks like. And it will hit a lot more with a slash weapon because they're weak at it. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much all the uh, different types uh, in the game so far. It's just three different types and just remember what they look like and then use the weapon that you know corresponding to that and then you'll hit a lot more damage compared to you know not the matching type but like I said it's it's not necessarily mean you can you can't kill it with just regular weapons just like it just does more damage with the matching weaknesses so hope you guys enjoy it until next time <laughs>